Oh boy, today is gonna be crazy because some random pre-built PC company just cloned my entire video and copied it like it was a group project due at midnight. Asus went full weeb with a Hatsune Miku RTX 5080 that looks like an anime rave machine. Microsoft fired 9,000 people and then tried to replace them with AI slob that puts the screen on backwards. Copilot can now see your screen, which sounds pretty helpful until it isn't. And Nvidia just got bodied in GPU sales and AMD is running the scoreboard. You know the drill, let's get into it. AMD's RX 9070 XT just punked Nvidia in the sales charts. Are we watching a power shift happen in real time here? I'll let you decide, let's take a look. We can always rely on Mind Factory, the German retailer that loves sharing sales data so that we can get a glimpse into what people are actually buying out there in the market, or at least in Germany, which should give us some good details on what's popular and what's moving right now. Check this out. Retailers latest stats show Germans prefer AMD GPUs and the RX 9070 XT is easily the best selling GPU. Now, do I think that this is something that exists everywhere that AMD is just crushing on sales? Well, based on the Steam charts, the answer would be no. However, this is a good indication of how things are going in this particular market and maybe has something to do with availability as well. Let's dig into it. While North America prefers the green team, some regions in Europe seem to incline towards AMD GPUs more. Mind Factory GPU sales reveal AMD Radeon RX 9000 GPUs are in higher demand than the RTX 50 series. Now, check this out. Mind Factory data tends to reflect some degree of early adopter sentiment, right? So if AMD is dominating there, I mean, it could hint, at least hint at a trend that's forming globally. Maybe, maybe not, but it's worth checking out. Not long ago, we saw June stats for the best-selling GPUs on Amazon US. And if you check that out, those stats show that gamers still prefer Nvidia cards over AMD. In fact, here's the breakdown that shows the GPU type and sales and units sold. And as you can see, obviously you have Nvidia leading the way there. Now that's in the US, but in Europe, in some regions, gamers seem to favor AMD GPUs more. And once again, we see the AMD RDNA 4 GPUs dominate sales on one of the most popular German retailers called Mind Factory. And this is the big thing that's also mentioned in this article as well. There used to be a whole lot of talk about, oh man, I don't want an AMD card because of it, of drivers and things like that. You don't really hear that much at all anymore. In fact, I haven't heard that in quite a while from someone as a reason why they wouldn't buy an AMD card. So if the price is right and availability is there, I think you're starting to see a lot of people move to Team Red on the GPU side. But obviously you have a lot of people that still prefer an Nvidia GPU, even if you have equally powerful AMD GPUs. And obviously that's ray tracing, user trust on drivers, even if you know we're not having a whole bunch of issues with AMD drivers, there's still that. If you're not constantly looking at graphics card news all the time on channels like this or other great channels out there, you probably may still have in your brain that oh, AMD means bad drivers. That's something that takes time to overcome, right? Customer sentiment. And it even says here, there's no denying the fact that AMD GPU drivers are significantly superior to what they were several years ago. I think everyone can probably agree on that. And as I say that, someone's going to disagree. It's just how it goes in this uh, area of technology. So here's the breakdown of unit sales. And you can see that 9070 XT with 470 units far and wide leading the way. Below that, the 9060 XT and then we start to get into some NVIDIA stuff with the 5060 Ti and the 5070 Ti. Now these numbers have increased compared to previous months because Mine Factory is always sharing data, which again, it's very helpful. I love that they do this. And this is particularly due to a drop in prices. Next, we have the Radeon RX 9060 XT and 16 gig variants. And of course the card that they're selling there, surprise, surprise, it ain't the eight gig card, <laughs> it's the 16. Selling around 215 units while the eight gig variant sold just 40 units. This is even lower than the RTX 5060, which sold 40 five units. Gamers are preferring the Radeon RX 9070 instead of that 5070, which sold 75 units. Wow, we see this GPU sitting idle on the shelves in a lot of stores. Now, as far as the total GPU share is concerned, AMD, 65% on this particular report with Nvidia around 35% with 510 units. A much lower average selling price of AMD is probably leading to the bulk of that. Again, everyone said it, every channel repeats the same phrase. There's no bad GPUs, just bad prices right? And obviously it has to be a good fit for you as well, which is why we're not seeing these eight gig cards move a whole ton. Let me know what you guys think about this. Have you dabbled in the AMD dark magic? I'll be truthful. I'm running RTX 5080 in this rig, but I've considered many times maybe doing an AMD build and showing it off here on the channel. Now I'm running 9950X 3D for the processor in my current rig, but I've really been thinking about getting an AMD rig going and we're talking about potentially doing one just to install SteamOS on it and see how that works and figure that whole thing out. Let me know if you'd like to see a video 
like that on the channel in the comments down below. Hey, I've got a question for you. Have you ever Googled yourself and thought, why the hell does this site know where I live, who I'm related to, and how many speeding tickets I've had? Welcome to the world of data brokers. These companies that you've never heard of are quietly collecting everything about you. I'm talking your email, your phone number, your home address, even stuff like your political views or income, and they're selling it to anybody with a credit card. That includes scammers, telemarketers, shady marketers, and yes, possibly that psycho ex of yours. I looked myself up once and I found my old house, my wife's info, and even our kids' names tied to my record. And trying to get that removed manually takes hundreds of hours. It's an absolute nightmare. Believe me, I've tried. That's where Incogni comes in. They go full John Wick on these data brokers. They automatically contact them on your behalf, demanding that they delete your info and keep it deleted. You don't have to lift a single finger. And here's how it all works. It's dead easy. Step one is you make an account. Step two, you give them permission to act on your behalf. Step three, sit back and let them tear through the broker list like it's a hit list. You can even add up to four family or friends to your plan, which is huge if you've got kids or parents that you wanna keep protected. And yeah, it's risk-free for 30 days. You can cancel any time, no excuses. Use my code Zach at the link below to get 60% off your annual plan. That's less than the price of a Netflix subscription to make sure that your private life stays private. And now back to the news. Microsoft just posted a graphics job using a AI art that is so bad, it put the monitor screen on backwards. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, check this out. Nothing says that, you know what, we value creative so much, like replacing them with an AI ad that puts the screen on the back of the monitor. You can't make this up, check this out. Now, this image that you're looking at here, you got a, a lady sitting at a computer typing code, it would appear, or something. You can tell what she's typing because, spoiler alert, you can see on the back of the screen, the rear of the monitor is showing the, uh, the code. So, leaving nothing up to the imagination here. This is clearly made by AI and it has some accompanying text on there that says, Xbox graphics is hiring. Please come work here. Check out this. Look at this cool thing we whipped up. Now, reaction to the post went live on LinkedIn over the weekend and it's still available right now. In fact, let's see if it's, let's see if we can check it out. Uh-oh, this post cannot be displayed. I think they figured out they made a boo-boo on this one. So while we can't read the responses to that, I'm sure you have thoughts of your own here. This is what the post said. <laughs> check this out. This is the head, the lead on the Xbox graphics team. The Xbox graphics team is hiring folks with experience with device drivers, GPU performance, or related validation or engineering systems experience. So this was someone that is a lead at Microsoft, so not a post by Microsoft itself. So this post has generated more than 100 replies. Rest in peace, it's dead now. I'm sure it was much more than that by the time it was uh, deleted. Nearly all of the comments on that, people weren't too happy about it. Here is a fellow Microsoft staff member that chimed in on this post. Here's what they had to say. Do you think this image communicates this is a company where we value people who can make stuff look good? Wrote a fellow Microsoft staff member. So you have people inside of Microsoft also being like, hey, maybe this is, I don't want to step out, a, speak out a turn here, but maybe this is a bad look. Maybe we should take this down, and, and they did. This crap is just embarrassing. AI gutter slop image, the screen is on the back of the monitor to advertise a graphics post, wrote a Ubisoft employee. Do effing better. And then you had a handful of responses just laughing off the image, but even one suggested the image was posted on purpose to show why good hires were needed. Hey, I guess if you really wanted to double down on it, you could take that angle too. Now, this is coming on the heels of Microsoft announcing that it plans to shed nearly 4% of its staff or roughly 9,100 employees earlier this month with deep cuts to several major Xbox studios. Let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, are you able to make a better graphic than this? Probably. I got Photoshop. I'll give it a shot. Why not? Here, I'll do it right now. How'd I do? Did I get a job? No? Guess only AI can do this job, apparently. Who to thunk? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Did I get the job? Please? Asus dropped an RTX 5080 setup themed after an anime pop star, Hatsune Miku, and it's either genius or it's pure chaos. I'll let you decide. Let's take a peek. Asus unveils this Hatsune Miku hardware lineup. Now, this isn't just the graphics card, although the graphics card, I'm gonna be totally transparent. This is very, very cool looking. I didn't even know much about Hatsune Miku until this dropped. And as I've been digging into it, I think I'm kind of a fan. Uh, you've got a ROG Astral RTX 5080 special edition here. And in addition to that, you've also got a case, power supply, Thor power supply too. Those are pretty nice. Monitor, even the cooler, motherboard, the whole thing themed around Hatsune Miku, an anime pop star. Uh, it's got this striking blue, green, and pink Miku color scheme across the cover sides and back panel artwork. The card sports a massive quad fan design. And inside, you've got the original ROG Astral. So 
nothing changed on the spec side of things. Asus added a vapor chamber with milled heat spreader and a phase change GPU thermal pad. Now this thing is pretty cool. I like it even regardless of the Hatsune Miku artwork. This looks like something from Miami Vice or something. It just looks like, I love the color scheme. I think it's really badass. So although it might not be for me, could be for somebody though. You know, even if you don't care about Hatsune Miku, you gotta respect the attention to theme and the, the wild spec sheet that comes along with that. It's pretty cool. And let's be real, nobody's buying this for thermals. You're buying it to flex on Reddit and live out your anime builder fantasy. That's 100% what's happening here. And I'm gonna be honest, this entire setup, it looks pretty cool, man. You know, it's candy colored chaos and it's just absolutely unapologetic. So while it might not be for me, I think it's really cool. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Copilot can now see your desktop and act on what is there, what's visible on your screen. Is this convenient or is it terrifying? Let's talk about it. Microsoft is pushing Copilot vision hard. Now it can literally look at your screen and act on what it sees. Check this out. Microsoft's Copilot vision AI can scan everything on your screen. Microsoft is rolling out an update to Copilot vision for Windows insiders that lets the AI tool see everything that's on your screen. Now, previously you could look at two apps at a time and connect the dots between the two, but with this change, it can look at the entire screen or the whole desktop rather, and any specific browser or app on Windows. Unlike Recall, which can automatically take regular snapshots of what's on your computer screen, Copilot Vision, it's more like screen sharing during a video call. You can activate the feature by clicking the glasses icon in the Copilot app and selecting the desktop that you want it to see. Now, the idea behind this is Copilot Vision can help analyze content, provide answers, and answer your questions, coaching you through it aloud, according to Microsoft. You can get tips on making improvements to your creative projects, help with improving your resume or guidance while navigating a new game. Now, my big question on this is, is this a step forward in AI integration or just another productivity tool that's just getting begged to turn off from day one? Another question about that is, does it come back to Microsoft? Is it used as training data? What's happening with the things that you are showing on your screen? Is that somehow making its way back to Microsoft to be trained on? Those are some privacy things that I'd probably be concerned about if I'm using this. And it's something that's not really mentioned at all in this article. So that is a big question that I would have on the Copilot software itself. And I'm sure we can find it somewhere buried in lengthy legal documents and terms and conditions from Microsoft. Can't wait to peruse through that later today. That's gonna be a fun afternoon. Now this feature is part of Microsoft's path towards pushing more proactive AI tools. It wants to reduce friction by identifying what you want without input. So that's the whole goal of this. Now, I don't know on the privacy end what that looks like, but I guess we're gonna find out. And honestly, this could be a really good tool for things like summarizing content, identifying different items on your screen, or generating even actions based on visuals on the screen. I'm sure there's a lot of cool ways that you could customize this potentially. Let me know what you think about this. Is this something that you would turn on and trust on your computer? Copilot Vision, Microsoft just pushing the crap out of it. Let me know what you think about it down below. One PC brand just copy pasted my entire video. <laughs> Camera angles, pacing the script, the whole thing, even the hey man, <laughs> let's break it down. This is pretty fun stuff. All right, so I had a buddy send me this and he said, hey, isn't this, isn't this cool? This company's doing the hey man like you are. And many companies have done this. Even companies I've worked for in the past are now starting with uh, hey mans on skits, which I find entertaining. You know, I think it's kind of fun. But then I started to watch the full video. It's a little bit more than just the intro. Check this out. Hey man, are you looking for a new PC? Wait a second. I said that. Hey man, are you looking for a new PC? Huh. I like you too. Me too. I said that too. Me too. Wait a second. I wrote this script. <laughs> Of course we stress test and benchmark every PC, so when it arrives, it's ready to plug and play. Of course we stress test and benchmark every PC, so that when it shows up, it's ready to plug and play. I wrote this script in January. Wow, down to the shots and the effects even. Hey man. Hey man. Look. Looks wet. Looks wet. Looks wet. That one I improvised. I actually didn't write that in the script for my video. I improvised that one. It's a good line though. I like that. <laughs> so uh, I think it's kind of funny. Now I'm not like mad <laughs> or whatever. I just think it's interesting that uh, like literally word for word. Now overlap's gonna happen in the industry. Like people all say the same thing, like free PC, whatever. It's all like common knowledge, right? But word for word, it's a little interesting to me. And then I started to look at a couple more videos and I saw this one and I was like, wait, I'm pretty sure I wrote this, this too. Look at all these shots. This looks oddly familiar. Wow. Oh, they even have a wood slat wall. I like our wood slat wall. It's kind of fun. That's fun stuff, man. <laughs> Listen, stuff like this, you see it and you're like, you could be upset 
You could get mad, you could throw a fit, or you could turn it into content on your own channel, which is what I'm doing today. Listen, we work really hard on making content, trying to make stuff that's funny and interesting to people. And so to see stuff like this, it's also very like rewarding in a weird twisted way. Cause you're like, man, they thought it was so good that word for word, <laughs> shot for shot, decided to, to make their own kind of their own to make a version of ours, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I thought that was kind of funny. I saw that uh, the other day and was like, this would be a good thing to maybe cover on the channel. Now there's one thing that they can't copy. This bald dome, this beautiful beard, <laughs> and the hey man, they can't, it's how you say it. It's all in how you say it. Hey man, there you go. I'll do some lessons. Hit me up guys. I'm happy to do some consulting for you. More than happy to make it happen. So if you like this video of mine, <laughs> make sure that you hit like and subscribe because I've got a whole bunch. I drop several videos a week. If you like tech content like this, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.